Hello friends! In this video I'm going to work with uh, files, how we can upload images in the Laravel. And I'm going to do this because someone commented on one of my videos how we can upload images. For that I have created a fresh Laravel 9 application. And uh, in the welcome blade I remove everything, just I have added this Tailwind CSS CDN. And also I have created the file controller, which is empty right now. And here is the browser, the our app, and the CDN of the Tailwind CSS you can find in the tailwindcss.com, getting started and installation. Now if you go to the Laravel documentation and in the file system, if we want to configure the disks, we can find the file in the config file system.psp. And if I go here in the config, we have this file systems.php. Uh, and the default, by default, is going to be local. And the local disk has the driver local and the root is storage path up. So the storage path, which is this one, and here we have the storage and the app. So this one, uh, if we work with the local, we are going to upload images and files in here. If we use public, we are going to upload inside the public now. And if you see here we have the, and you can see uh, the local driver when using the local driver, all file operations are relative to the root directory defined in your file system configuration file. And by default, this value is set to the storage app. And we can make changes, but it's okay. So therefore, the following method will write to the storage app and this example text here is going to be inside here. If we use public directory, the public disk included in your application's file system configuration, by default, the public disk will use the local driver and store its files in the storage app public. So here. And to make these files accessible from the web, we need to create a symbolic link from public storage to the storage app public. So this public and create a storage here. Okay. And we can do with this uh, command. So if I copy or I'm going to leave it and I'm going to do later. So let's uh, go and play around with images now first. In the web PHP, I'm going to create also one road. So road uh, post and it's going to be upload and add the file controller here, file controller class and the method is going to be upload. Okay, now in the welcome, here I'm going to add a div with a class max with is going to be to excel mx auto this is a Tailwind css styles and uh, margin eight and here i'm going to add the form and uh, the method is going to be Post the 
the action is going to be upload and uh, because we are going to upload images we need to add the ink type which is going to be multi-part form data and here now i'm going to add a div and label and for the label i'm going to say uh, thumbnail and here at the input it's going to be type file and i'm going to give it a name uh, thumbnail and also we need the button so add a div and i'm going to add a class of uh, M2 and padding 2 and here at the button type submit and also I'm going to add the class px4 and py2 dg green 500 and on hover it's going to be bg green 700 and also rounded and say upload save uh, refresh here and here we have a form now if i choose a file yeah click open and upload nothing happened we have a, a page expired because i forget that the CSR, CSRF token. So here we need to save and refresh, upload, and file control of does does not exist. In here now, create that public. function uh, upload and here I'm going to add the request dollar sign request and say first I'm going to say if we have a file so dollar sign file check if we have a file and say the request as file if the request has file and here we need to give the name we put in here in the input file which is thumbnail okay paste that in and I'm going to say die and dump the file to see if we have that save go to the browser and check if we have a file if we check a file say upload we have true go back refresh upload we have false because we don't uh, uh, add the file so with that now i'm going to say uh, if we have a file so if we have a file dollar sign new file is going to be the request file and the thumbnail name now if i say dump and the new file okay come here and refresh choose a file click open upload and uh, we need to remove yeah we we need to save we don't save that so go back and refresh again choose a file open upload now we have the uploaded file here we have the original name which is this one the mime type 
we have the path, the file name, the base name, the path name is inside here, real path and all of that. So if we want uh, to get the original name or mime type, so in here I'm going to say dump and a new file and here we have get client map type uh, close and say dump again and uh, the new file and say get uh, base name or orig original extension or or original name So let's say original extension and one more for the name to dump the new file and uh, get the original name Okay, uh, we need to save and come here Refresh this, choose a file, and I'm going to choose this one. Open, upload, and we have the uh, mime type is here, the new mime type, the original one type, the original extension is PNG, and the original name is this name here. Okay. So with that, now we have the, the information of the file. Uh, let uh, remove all. And if we want to store this in the database, in, sorry, in the project, we can say the new file. And we have the store method. And here, we, if we want to add a path, and the options. So the path I'm going to say inside the images. Okay. And with that, if I save right now in the storage app, we don't have anything. Okay, it's empty. If I go back, refresh this, choose a file. Choose this one and say upload. Nothing happened. If I go back and refresh, okay, come here. Now we have this inside the app. We have this folder images. So we added the images here and it's going to create an images folder. And inside here we have the file. Now, if we want in here is okay or if we want in the public we need to change the uh, the the disk so we add it by default is the local driver which is inside the storage app so storage app and here we add created an images folder and we add it here but if we want in the public we need to change that. So in the config file systems, disks, we have the file system disk and by default is local. If we want, we can change here or go to the .env file and add, override that here. So file system disk, say public. With that now, we are going to store the file inside the storage and public. So I'm going to do the same thing. And now it's going here. We have only one image. It's going to upload in here. So refresh, choose a file. I'm going to choose this. Okay. Upload. Go back and refresh. And now in here. We don't we have only one image here 
but inside the public we have a new folder which is images and inside here we have an image if i choose a new image again it's going to add it there okay so now here we have two images uh, by default this store uh, method if we want for example the, the name this is going to return the name so if i say dollar sign file path or file name file name and instantiated with that and now say die and dump the file name is going to return to us the name which is uh, for example this one this hash name and the Im images slash and the name because we added images here so save uh, go to the browser choose a file and i'm going to choose this one now open click upload and you see here we have the images slash and the name the hash make a name dot png uh, okay friends that was for this video how we can upload images uh, i'm going to create a new video and how we can uh, store the database so this return it we can store in the database field so in the next video see you friends all the best